tips to help you pass the driving test. Know your warning signs. We are going to take a look at warning signs by giving you some examples and explaining how to interpret signs that look similar. For warning signs to do their job, the sign must give its message clearly and early enough for you to see it, understand it and act safely on it. Warning signs are normally triangular in shape with the flat base usually at the bottom. They can have a symbol inside which tells you what the hazard is and a plate attached underneath can normally give you more information about the hazard. Two signs together usually says that the first hazard is the top sign and the second hazard is the bottom sign. Two warning signs that are different are the advanced warning sign to a stop line and the advanced warning sign to a give way line. Both are upside down triangles with nothing inside. These signs are usually situated around a corner where the hazard is difficult to see. Subscribe and hit the bell and we'll let you know when new videos arrive. Let's take a look at signs that tell us about junctions. T-junction is the end of a road coming on to a main road. T-junction has the priority through the junction which is indicated by the broad line. And we can see to the left as well. Side road to the left and a side road to the right. Crossroads Staggered junction with a right turn box in the middle and a staggered junction without the right turn box. Traffic merges from the left, usually found on a motorway or a dual carriageway, but can be on a single carriageway road. Traffic merges onto the main road, again found on a motorway or a dual carriageway and occasionally found on a single carriageway road. Roundabout signs that aren't marked with an information board can have an advance warning sign of a roundabout, as can mini roundabouts. Let's take a look at the signs for bends. Left bend Remember the sign doesn't tell you how sharp the bend is. A right bend. A double bend. Or a series of bends if there's a plate underneath telling you the distance that the series of bends goes on for. Bends with junctions. Sometimes bends have junctions on the inside. Or on the outside of the bend. The bend can be the opposite direction if the signs are reversed. A ford is where a river or a stream crosses a road. Usually it has a depth gauge to the side to let you know how deep the water is. You should always go through this very slowly. Once through the ford you will normally have a sign telling you to try your brakes in other words, to get all of the water out of the brakes and make sure that they're working properly. The low flying aircraft sign tells you you might get low flying aircraft or sudden aircraft noise. Tanks crossing. Normally in a military training area where a main road goes through the training area. You shouldn't al always look for tanks but wheeled vehicles as well as heavy armour and mud on the road. Level crossings are where roads cross the railway at the same level and can be split into two types ungated and gated. An ungated level crossing has lights that control it but no barriers.
gated level crossing can be automatic half barriers, automatic full barriers, or manually operated by the railway staff. Other signs we associate with uh, level crossings are the risk of grounding signs for very long and low vehicles, and overhead electric cables with a plate underneath telling you what the safe height for that vehicle is. In towns and cities where trams operate, you could get the trams crossing ahead sign. Two way traffic crosses a one way street is a reminder to tell you that at the end of this one way street traffic will be travelling in both directions. Animals. As we head out onto country roads we might find signs for wild animals which could include deer, badgers and foxes or we might even find signs for horses and riders or people leading horses. We should always slow down for these. In certain parts of the country a cattle grid will allow animals to wander freely around. These could be wild ponies and horses or cattle and they could be near a farm as well where they're going in between fields especially at milking time and of course the most common one is sheep on the road and they could be at the side or they could step out in front of you agricultural vehicles or tractors can be anything from a combine harvester to a tractor and if you add the words farm traffic underneath it could be anything from an all-terrain vehicle to a feed vehicle or a milk truck going to the farm. Don't forget where farms are, there's always mud on the road. Pedestrians. Here we've got a zebra crossing. And here we have frail pedestrians. Depending on what the sign says. It could be blind, disabled people, or even elderly crossing. The school children sign will tell us that there are school children crossing to or from school. The sign at the bottom will tell us whether it's a patrol, a playground, or disabled children. Flashing lights will tell us the times when the school children are going to or from school. So far, all of the signs have told us that pedestrians are moving from left to right on the signs. This one is different because this is coming towards us or going away from us. It means there's no footpath and we should expect pedestrians in the road. Let's take a look at roadworks and narrowing roads. So roadworks. We're going to expect possibly traffic lights. Vehicles or pedestrians, workmen moving around. We could have the road narrowing from the left. Or we could have the road narrowing from the right. These can also be permanent fixtures on the road. This one's moving in from the right. Obviously, if the, the road narrowed from the left, the sign would be reversed. Two signs that often get confused are the road narrows on both sides and the end of a dual carriageway. What we see here is that the road narrows doesn't come together. And here we have two lanes which will go into one lane, the end of a dual carriageway. Got the central re refuge in the middle that will disappear the lanes will come into one lane 
it will tell you two-way traffic and there we are one lane in each direction all bridges that have a maximum headroom less than 16 foot 6 will have a warning sign or an order sign telling you not to go down that road the signs could be in metric or in imperial measurements and we could have a warning sign on the bridge itself arch bridges are a little bit different because they say the maximum headroom on the lowest part of the bridge again the signs could be in metric or in imperial on larger bridges you might get high vehicles in the middle of the road so let's take a look at some common and some uncommon signs so uneven road surface often gets confused with road humps speed bumps different types of speed bump same sign risk of falling or fallen rocks permanent or temporary signs caution signs the plate underneath tells you what the hazard is tunnels quayside or riverbank side winds open spaces can affect um, high vehicles or motorcycles swing bridge or lifting bridge queues likely normally in traffic calming areas steep hill downwards or a steep hill upwards plates underneath could tell you to be in low gear the bigger the number the steeper the hill loose road surface normally where you've relayed the road and then probably the most common sign that we have in the country slippery road surface subscribe and hit the bell and we'll let you know when new videos arrive and don't forget to give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down